All right, so we are with here Darren Williams, and we're gonna ask him a few questions about uh, Joe Frazier. So, what? First of all, what do you know about Joe Frazier? Well, he was a boxer from yesteryear, and I think, although I don't know exactly, I think somewhere 1955 to 1972 ish. Yeah, he was he was most famous in the in the 60s and 80s, and he was the first person to beat Muhammad Ali. How, how about how many people do you think knew about him then versus now? I think more people knew about him then because he was a celebrity then than now. So yeah, he's so he was a star of the time, but you wouldn't say he had a much of a lasting impact through the media when in terms of today. Uh, boxing in general is not as popular today as it was long ago. It's true, boxing hadn't seen a spike in popularity for a while now. People like Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali, the people of those times had really set a special kind of influence onto the sport that not a lot of people have seen for a very long time. Well, I'd say there's a lot of exterior influences such as like there's WWE There has this like whole story outside of the whole like ring. And I think that's what kind of happened to MMA. There's all these like fights and feuds that happen outside and then that happens in the ring and it makes more people want to watch it. In comparison to like boxing, there hasn't had that sort of feud. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. There's more of a character portrayal in, in the other things that make it more cinematic. Yeah, I mean, sure. Like I've watched Creed, Creed 2. It really enlightened my whole like ideology with just boxing in general. Like I personally didn't understand boxing before I watched those and I just like now understand what goes into the sport. Yeah, absolutely. And I would say things things like Rocky and, you know, once it hits home a little bit more than, you know, seeing it on the sports channels. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I personally think the media that influences the sport because like nowadays people rely on like technology to like view things like T V or like Instagram, Snapchat, things like that. Like for them to get their information in the first place. And like back then, they had like newspapers and stuff, but people nowadays don't really use that. Today, the sport was run by the media. There are still some, though, that say that it's the other way around, and that the sport can never truly be changed by the media around it. So, so Frazier, Frazier received about the same level of of fame and media attention. That's those. Do you, do you think he would have succeeded if he was a boxer in today's world? Do you think he would have done better or worse? Worse in, when Ali was really good and mm -hmm. dominant, but better today because there's no powerhouse today. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, if you think about it, the more successful, more famous you are, the more profit you earn personally. And if you think about it outside the ring, you're going to have to feed yourself, you have to get good maybe cryotherapy to increase your recovery. And the less successful person just probably won't have that and they won't recover as much, they won't be able to enhance themselves as much. Yeah, won't be able to do much of anything actually if you <laughs> if you think about it then if you don't have that success rate, you're not going to even get anywhere. Yeah. Like sports influence media, and like you see in a, YouTube, a platform like YouTube, YouTubers are doing like boxing, like Logan and Jake Paul, and they that happens. And then you can look on the other side in comparison. Um, betting in competitive fields like sports has always been prevalent. But having media there makes it way more easier and more common. And in that happening, more people are watching the sport. So in both ways, it's influence. What do you think you know about Joe Frazier? I don't know much, but I heard the name. All right. It do you even do you know what time period he's from? Probably like the fifties, I believe. Yeah, he was he was a famous boxer in the sixties, and he was very famous for he had a very very fast style, almost like a wrestler. But how many people do you think knew about him then versus now? 
well, obviously way more back then than now because like they were alive during the time. And since like a lot of it's not recorded anymore, people nowadays probably don't know a lot about it. Joe Frazier was like any other boxer of his time. He was quick, fast, had a low stance. He knew what he was doing outside the ring and inside the ring. Not only that, but he had a reputation. If you look at boxing nowadays, it's sort of like a consumer product. And for specific boxers, if they're sort of ignorant outside of the ring, nobody's going to want to watch them box. So there's not going to be as much revenue from that boxer. So nobody would want to watch them. Right. And then, yeah, I, I agree with that. How it affects... It affects how the whole, you know, the whole sport changes in a sense that if you're, if you have a good image outside of the ring, you're more likely to get viewers inside of the ring and more competition yeah. and more, and then it builds from there. Yeah, and then also sort of like reflects their work ethic too. Absolutely, yeah.